Hello, Sir Stillwater. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Gaia statue. Uh, this is a great building in Forge Vampires. It's in the Arctic future. Uh, it's one of those buildings that you don't see or talk about too much. Not very common, but uh, it's definitely worth talking about here because this is one of my videos in the Great Building series where I talk about each individual great building in Forge Vampires. And today's the day we talk about the Gaia statue. So first off, uh, Gaia is spelled G-A-E-A -E -A in the game. Um, I'm used to being spelled G-A-I-A, -A, uh, like in Toby Hemingway's book, uh, Gaia's Garden, uh, which is a book about permaculture. But in this case, they spell it with an E. And here it is, you see a picture. This is from the wiki. Um, I have not built this building. Um, I have it on my list. I think I've got all the prints for it. I just haven't done it yet. But we'll talk about what it has to offer and kind of where it kind of where it fits in, uh, in general, in my opinion. Of course, this is all my opinion. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's talk about it. So kind of reminds me a little bit of kind of an understated building. It looks like an ornament, but it really is a great building. And it's kind of like I was just listening to Houses of the Holy from Led Zeppelin and the Rain Song, which is track two. It's kind of one of those understated songs on the rest of that album where it just kind of has its own kind of sweet spot in the middle. And it's where you kind of look at the Gaia statue. It looks like an ornament. Um, it looks like something that's there for decorative beauty in the world. It doesn't offer too much uh, as far as what it contributes to the game, uh, but it gives some visual appearance, and that's kind of how I interpret the Gaia statue in the game. So, again, these are all my opinions. You may have your own. I'm interested. What are your thoughts on this? Is it even worth ever wasting the space on? My goal is to build all the buildings, so for me it is. But Okay, so Arctic Future. Let's get to the get to the the meat of the discussion here. Um, Arctic Future, it's a 400, 400, 400, 400, 400 contribution. So it's one of the very few, if any, others that I've seen that is all balanced. Well, I think uh, Zeus might be balanced like that too, where it's the same contribution on all goods. It's a six by four, meaning it's six deep by four wide. So it's not too big um, that you can kind of fit it in, kind of still kind of follow my theme about being like an ornament where it's just kind of a smaller building that just kind of tucks away and gives a little bit of beauty in the in the footprint. Um, it does require a road. Of course, it's a great building. Of course, it requires a road. And then it offers a couple things, kind of run-of-the-mill stuff, metals, production, and happiness. But then again, thinking about it from a happiness perspective, uh, kind of like an ornament, it kind of gives you that visual appearance and it gives you uh, peace and calm, and it kind of makes sense. Uh, so let's look at what you get for it. It is at level one, takes 80 FPs. We're seeing that pattern here in Arctic Future and, and above uh, where the cost goes up from 70 per uh, for level one. I mean, 70 FPs for level one up to 80. Um, first off, it gives you 4,000 happiness at level one, which is an efficiency of 167 per square. Uh, per tile, whatever, and then also it gives you 127 medals, which 127 medals is really nothing, especially if you're up that level. I mean, it's kind of inconsequential. It's more about the happiness and the visual appeal, in my opinion. Um, let's see, at level 10, you get 12,300 happiness, which is decent, and which is 513 per per uh, tile. And then, where are we at? 367 medals per day. Medals are a daily collect. Happiness is a, for, you know, constant. So, but that's, that's it. That's the Gaia statue. So what are your thoughts? Um, if you haven't already, I haven't even said it yet, I don't think. Um, if you're interested, please subscribe. It helps grow the channel, helps other people find the videos, blah, blah, blah. And I'm really out of, out of sword on this one. Um, the resource that we're looking at right now is forgevampires.fandom.com slash wiki. Uh, no affiliation. It's just a site I use to do a lot of research and learn about the game and whatnot. Um, highly recommend it. I've got a link to this Gaia statue page down below but from there you can kind of springboard off and look at everything that they've got out there it's tons and tons of stuff great resource but just want to share and give credit where credit's due but uh i don't know what are your thoughts the gaia statue something something different it's kind of an interesting mix is it a filler um i think we might have three great buildings in this era so is this just kind of a a different twist on an ornament i don't know that's kind of how i feel about it so thanks for watching have a great day stay tuned more great building videos coming and I also have a playlist with all the great buildings I've already done. So, um, that should be down below or if you look at my library. Thanks. Take care. See you in the next one. Bye.